ChatGPT is barely a year old, yet it's the hot cake in the AI industry. OpenAI is already heading on the road as a multi-billion dollar company. The only question remains, who's taking home all these billions? Watch this video to find out. The recent enthusiasm surrounding ChatGPT might lead some to believe it's the first chatbot ever created. However, this isn't the case. The history of chatbots dates back to 1966 with the invention of Eliza, which was the cutting-edge technology of its time. Despite their shared purpose, ChatGPT represents a significant evolution in chatbot technology, and its advanced capabilities have even caused concern among some business leaders in Silicon Valley. Companies started realizing that they were dealing with a new kind of artificial intelligence technology that could easily disrupt their business in ways that they didn't appreciate. But in Redmond, Washington, it was a cause for celebration. Since we can remember, Microsoft has been somewhere in the background with its spreadsheets and search engines. The company made feats over the years, but has never really managed a top-notch position and maintained it. Microsoft had different plans this year. Turns out that Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella has been working behind the scenes to put things in place for this golden moment, seizing OpenAI's new invention from its founders. The complex relationship between Microsoft and OpenAI might lead some people to mistakenly believe that Microsoft founded the AI company. However, it was actually co-founded by tech entrepreneur Elon Musk, among others. The AI company was originally started as a non-profit organization, but the story took a different twist three years after its inception. Elon Musk intended to make OpenAI a research company where he could closely monitor every dangerous or genius AI invention. However, OpenAI wasn't interested in Musk's research projects. They realized that to continue making AI, they needed some lump sum funding, which is where Microsoft came in. Satya Nadella walked in with a $1 billion investment plan for OpenAI, just in time to start a partnership. Nadella announced on Twitter, This morning, we announced a partnership with OpenAI to build new Azure AI supercomputing technologies. That was just about 2019. Back then, OpenAI was dedicated to creating artificial general intelligence, a dream yet to be realized to this day. At that point, the company had only managed to create a few AI here and there that could beat human champions at video games and generate texts. Nonetheless, none of these projects significantly impacted people to arouse much attention. Microsoft then began a multi-layered partnership with OpenAI, securing the best spot as the most preferred company for commercializing OpenAI's invention. But what made Microsoft a viable partner? Computing power. Microsoft saw an opportunity others didn't. Hosting and keeping any kind of AI product online requires a lot of computing power. ChatGPT needs more computing power to complete one search than it takes Google to respond to a web search. Great computing power comes at a hefty cost. This is the main reason why ChatGPT won't be free forever. However, the stakes are high for Microsoft, which stands to benefit the most from OpenAI. OpenAI cannot afford to pay for computing power, whose costs are eye-watering. Tom Goldstein's tweet will explain the whole math. ChatGPT acquired 1 million users within its first five days of operation. If an average user has made 10 queries per day, I think it's reasonable to estimate that ChatGPT serves 10 million queries per day. Using Goldstein's hypothesis, the cost of running ChatGPT could be about $100,000 per day, or in other words, $3 million per month. This indicates that most of the money OpenAI got from Microsoft was spent wholly on computing power. Now, in the computing space, we have three giants competing against each other. Google Cloud, AWS Cloud, and Microsoft Azure. Guess who OpenAI's choice is? Of course, it's Microsoft Azure. Microsoft has always been a tech giant for many things. However, some Microsoft products fall far below the mark in the tech competition. A good example is Bing which barely occupied 3% of the search engine last year. As always, Google carried the day until OpenAI partnered with Microsoft. Microsoft is now in a vantage position to compete with companies like Apple, Amazon, and Google in different markets. This competition isn't going to relent anytime soon, as Microsoft announced yet another big investment in OpenAI. This time, the tech company announced that they are extending the partnership with OpenAI and gestured their commitment with a $10 billion investment. The settlement of the $10 billion price had been a rumor swirling for weeks until Microsoft finally confirmed that it's true. Microsoft mentioned being committed to turning Microsoft Azure into a supercomputer for the world. Nadella made these remarks in the release. 
In the next phase of our partnership, developers and organizations across industries will have access to the best AI infrastructure, models, and toolchain with Azure to build and run their applications. This means that Microsoft will be the exclusive cloud provider for the AI company. On the other hand, Microsoft will be free to deploy the AI tools across their products, Bing being among the first to benefit from this. For a long time, Bing was more like a carbon copy of Google. The page structure, search, and functions were all the same. However, as they are beginning to deploy ChatGPT and Bing, a lot will change henceforth. We might see a rise in preference for Bing over Google. In fact, many people are already talking about Google being forced out by ChatGPT. ChatGPT is more fine-tuned to giving you the exact answers you want for your questions than Google, so theoretically, Bing is bound to have the upper hand. Now, since with ChatGPT there's a cost tied therein, a paid version of ChatGPT is coming. The paid version of the chatbot will be tailored to fit different businesses and will come with an unavailability time, faster responses, and unlimited messages. The pricing of this version is yet to be announced, but here's what we know. Microsoft will gain 75% of what OpenAI will be earning until it returns its investment. The quicker OpenAI earns profit, the sooner Microsoft will have its investment money back. Before then, Microsoft will enjoy all the benefits this AI can offer its products. The AI landscape is heating up as many companies are roused to the realization that AI is the only way to the top of the competition. All major tech giants like Amazon, Alphabet, and Google don't want to be left behind in the AI race. Each is taking a decided position to invest heavily in AI. Microsoft already made its investment and is reaping in leaps and bounds. Currently, Microsoft is entitled to 49% of OpenAI until the company earns a profit of $92 billion. Microsoft stands a great chance to earn billions of hot cash and rapidly climb the tech ladders on OpenAI's shoulders. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman is also excited to have Microsoft as a partner. He said, The past three years of our partnership have been great. Microsoft shares our values, and we are excited to continue our independent research and work toward creating advanced AI that benefits everyone. Sounds like the deal is perfect. What do you think about the Microsoft and OpenAI partnership? Let us know in the comments below. To this end, thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can always get a notification when we post the latest and most exciting tech news that you would not want to miss. Till next time, cheers!